Hi there everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. We're starting off here today with the Philippines where a broad area of low pressure has been creating some hazardous situations across much of southern Luzon, even extending down there towards uh, Visayas and now into Palawan as this does continue to push off there towards the west. But Heavy rainfall has been occurring here. Actually, this is indicated uh, by the trim satellite from NASA. Shows that in the past day, over 100 and almost 200 millimeters of rainfall has fallen across much of this area due to 96W or no name. It's being called 96W because that is Invest 96W by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Actually, NRL, not so much the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. But... Also, it was just really a broad area of low pressure. A few days ago, when it was out over in this region, it was actually called a very weak tropical depression by the Japan Meteorological Agency, but then they kind of backed off and they never really warned on it, and then it pushed off here towards the west. Still fairly disorganized, but as you've seen on the satellite imagery, it still has a lot of that convection. And what this imagery is least indicating to you is that there is a very high risk of flash floods and also landslides across much of this region here and that was actually just rainfall estimates uh based on satellite imagery this is uh on the ground reports to the worldwide meteorological organization have indicated upwards of about 208 millimeters here in the central philippines down there in besides so uh from the d and ndrrmc actually they were talking about up to about 10 dams at a uh, critical uh, spill level really within about one meter so that means that some water can start overflowing their banks and many dams across much of the Philippines also uh, travel concerns across much of this area out of Manila upwards of about seven flights have been canceled uh, due to these heavy rain showers and thunderstorm activity so really if you're flying in and out of the Philippines here within the next 24 and even into the next 48 hours I would still be very careful make sure you check your flights out ahead of time these are just seven in flights but I do think that more are likely to be canceled here now this is from uh, the nationwide operational assessment of hazards and you can see that you have this radar imagery and then um, it's fairly new here in the Philippines still in the experimental stage I don't think it's covering everything it's supposed to uh, you actually can see a lot of it really getting blocked by the mountains here but it does show that there is this heavy rainfall even including in Manila there some locations seeing upwards of about 40 to 50 millimeters per hour out here that definitely is also spelling that risk of urban flooding across much of the metropolitan area and once again though since this area is really kind of being stagnant this is actually the 48 hour outlook from the japan meteorological agency you can still see that low pressure area over the philippines uh with that said it's due to its stagnant nature more rainfall is going to be of great concern let's take a look at the GFS uh, 72 hour rainfall accumulation. We're about 150 to 200 millimeters is expected here across the western portions of the Philippines as this low ever so slowly kind of moves off there towards the west with the easterly flow. Also looking at the rainy season boundary here in China, and let's just want to point this out here, and also over there towards the Koreas where you really need that rainfall. Mainly this whole boundary though has been lingering down in this region now it's finally pushing off there towards the north due to the weakening of the high pressure over Mongolia here. And that's actually turning into a low pressure now. And uh, that whole rainy season boundary is going to eventually continue to lift towards the north and then just completely fade out here. With that said, it's actually relaxing a lot of vertical wind shear farther towards the south. And you might be having more tropical systems with that said because less vertical wind shear means more favorable conditions. For the time being, though, still I think the main topic for today is continuing to be this event currently occurring across the Philippines. Now, what is the uh, Pegasus saying about this right now? Well, they're just really calling it a low-pressure area at this time. Uh, the National Disaster Risk Management Council, though, they have stated that the threat of flash floods and landslides really is high at risk. And if we take a look at the GFS model outlook for the precipitation here, going through the next several days, you can really see that low just kind of lingering there. And then by the latter part of the week really starts to finally get a move on into the South China Sea. So once again, there really is that risk. Let's also take a look elsewhere into Indochina, Southwest Monsoon, still kicking up rainfall here. And off towards the north into Korea and then into Japan actually on your Tuesday going through Wednesday. Much of a southern and western Japan is going to be feeling the effects of rain. But look into the weekend. 
Nice big low pressure area pushing across the northern half. This will be bringing some heavy rain showers by the latter part of the week going into the weekend uh, for the Kanto region. So anybody in Tokyo, if you're looking at getting out there and enjoying your upcoming weekend, you may be wanting to do that indoors as well because it's going to be a wet one. At least that's what it looks like here on your Tuesday. But as far as for any of the uh, Americans like myself out here in uh, Japan, especially the ones at the military bases, if you plan on celebrating the 4th of July or Independence Day, uh, at least across much of western Japan, you may be getting some rain showers and over towards eastern Japan, including the Kanto area on your Wednesday. Some cloudy skies, a light drizzle could be affecting some of your areas, but I don't think it's going to be anything significant, but it's still cloudy skies, not the most beautiful night ever as that whole frontal area pushes off there towards the east. Uh, as far as Okinawa, though, uh, your rainy season is over with, so enjoy the sunny skies for you. Yeah, uh, but... That's all for right now. Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. We will continue to keep you updated here across the Philippines due to this low pressure area uh, continuing to remain stagnant. I don't think this is going to develop into a tropical storm, at least in the near future, but due to its slow nature, once it moves away from the South China Sea or it moves away from the Philippines into the South China Sea, it may pick up some of the moisture here. Vertical winter is relatively lax in this area, so you could see a rapidly developing system. Possibly still uh, not yet 100% sure if that is going to occur. But once again, though, even though if it doesn't develop, still a very serious threat due to the slow nature. It's continuing to pick up moisture and dropping it here across much of Luzon down through Visayas. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, though, please post them in the comment box below. And as always, please stay safe out there. And one, one last note, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Western Pacific Weather. We continue to put updates throughout the day there. And also you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta. All right, have a good day. Stay safe.